Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a classic Christmas red lip. Really any occasion, whatever kind of occasion you want to use this for, whether it's for a holiday party, New Year's party, work party, the grocery store, whatever you're needing a red lip look for. I've got you covered. I'm gonna walk you through this entire look. And today we're really focusing on just really fresh, healthy looking skin, not covering up the skin with a ton of makeup, really just letting our natural skin shine through. We definitely have coverage. This is definitely more of a glamorous look, but just really want that effortless skin. And then of course, a bold red lip. That's what we're gonna do today. Make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. You can grab your red lipstick if you're getting ready for a Christmas party or a holiday party, New Year's Eve party, whatever you're getting ready for at this moment. Um, you can do your makeup with me. I love doing that. I love watching YouTube videos while I get ready. Katie Fawn, I've been obsessed with her videos. I've been binge watching all her videos and every time I get ready, I always turn on one of her videos. I'll link her channel below. She's the owner of Fawn Beauty, which uh, is the glosses that I've been loving. And um, yeah, I've been watching her channel. She's such an amazing just spirit and she's hilarious. So definitely check out her channel. But yeah, that's that's the uh, channel I've been watching. So if you need a video to watch while you get ready, you can play this video while you get ready for whatever you're about to go to. Um, I'm sipping on some hot coffee per usual and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's get into it. I'm super excited about this makeup look. If you do not know this already, I love a red lip. I will wear a lip, red lip to the grocery store. I will wear a red lip in the carpool lane. I will wear a red lip on a Wednesday night with a glass of wine watching Real Housewives. I love a good red lip and I'm gonna show you how I prep my skin as well because I think that is such an important part of any makeup look, but especially one that's really focused on the skin really prepping your skin, making sure that it's ready for any makeup that you apply on top, I think is just so important. So to prep my skin, I'm gonna be using two of my holy grail favorite skincare products today. And this portion of today's video is sponsored by Matter of Fact. Y'all know how much I love this brand. I've been using them for a while now. And these are the only two products that have been in my skincare routine consistently. I use these every single day. And I feel like both of these products have just made such a big difference in my skin. Just evenness, just my skin just feels happier. And honestly, I've really simplified my routine, taken out a lot of steps, and I feel like that's actually helped my skin a lot more. So the first product I'm going to go in with today is the Matter of Fact Asorbic Acid 20. This is their vitamin C serum. It is an asorbic acid at uh, a percentage of 20, um, which is really amazing. This is a waterless formula. If you haven't seen my skincare routine, definitely go check it out. I go into detail about my entire skincare routine. This is amazing. I use this every single morning. And it's not a true serum texture, which is what I like. I actually feel like it has a little bit of a moisturizing feel to it. Um, so rather than having that kind of typical, whoa, typical serum texture, it has more of like an, a little bit of a thickness to it. So what I like to do, usually I don't apply it to the back of my hand, but I'll just rub it between my fingers and then just press it on my skin right after I cleanse. And I'm telling you, this has helped so much with hyperpigmentation, um, post-acne spots. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know that I dealt with a lot of acne. I want to say maybe a year and a half to two years ago. Yeah, it's probably closer to two years ago. And I have a lot of residual um, just like hyperpigmentation and just little spots on my face from those breakouts. And this has helped immensely. Step number two and the final step before I go in with makeup. This is all that I wear before I apply makeup and I always get questions about what is on your skin? Why does your skin look so good? Why is it looking so juicy and glowy? And it's because of this product. This is their minimalist hydrating cream. This is amazing. This is my second full size bottle. I went through a travel size, I went through a full size, and then I'm on my second full size bottle. I'm actually almost out of it. Um, this stuff is incredible. So the packaging is exactly the same as the serum, and that's what the cream looks like. So I usually do two pumps, uh, morning and night. It is incredible. 
and it comes out white but once you start to blend it in it kind of turns into a clear gel like texture so this is an amazing moisturizer it's also an amazing primer for makeup i love wearing this under makeup and this is how i prep my skin every single time i do my makeup and especially when doing a very skin focused look i want to make sure that my skin is as prepped and ready to go for any makeup on top I do have a 15% off discount code with matter of fact on any of their products. So definitely check that out. I'll have my discount code listed here. I'll uh, I will also have it listed in the description box. I cannot say enough good things about these. This is what I've been using exclusively every single day on my skin. Just a cleanser. These two products, super quick and easy. Great if you just want a simple yet effective skincare routine. So, so, so good. So when I was trying to decide what kind of foundation I wanted for this look, I wasn't sure if I was going to go for more of a tinted moisturizer or like a full-on foundation. And I think the one that I chose is that perfect in-between. It's kind of got the coverage level of a tinted moisturizer, but it has the longevity and the performance of a foundation. So this is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I love this. This is the most beautiful, healthy skin foundation. It is so good. It has a horrendous fragrance to it I it's so obnoxious I do not like it but I love the foundation so much that I just kind of try to ignore it as much as possible so this is what we're using today I do have a full review on this so if you're curious about this foundation definitely check that out you want to see if it's a good foundation for you but um, I have mine in the shade Y355 and I'm just going to start with a little because I really want to apply as less or as little product as I can get away with with this look. I don't want to pile on a ton of makeup. And then I'm going to take my Refer 31 brush and just blend this out. Alright, so that is one very light layer of this foundation. And I'm happy with that. You know, I still have some spots peeking through. You can still see little imperfections on my face. But I don't mind that. I kind of... I, I feel like it just adds to the overall look. It really makes you look like you're not wearing a lot of makeup when you can see those little things. So with this kind of look, don't worry about covering up every little thing. So even though I did have, I do have spots on my face and I have little areas where, you know, I'm working on, I'm trying to make them better. Um, I just feel like because my skin feels really good and it honestly just looks really good before even applying foundation, even with those little spots, I'm just finding I don't need a ton of coverage and you can always add coverage with a concealer. So speaking of, we're going to go in with concealer. For concealer, I figured I would just go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD self-setting concealer since we're using the foundation and I actually really like this concealer. It's got great coverage, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey. So if you are dealing with those areas of your face that you're like, Ugh, I need a little bit more help, having a concealer that's got some more coverage to it is really helpful. So I'm going in with the shade 33. And I'm using a concealer that is the same shade as my foundation. Um, Cause if you are dealing with breakouts or spots or even just texture, using a lighter concealer can actually highlight those areas and make them kind of more pronounced. So try and go in with a concealer that's a little bit that's more so the same same color as your foundation. And then you can go in with a lighter concealer later and highlight and brighten. And I'm using the Makeup Forever sponge to blend this out. One of my new favorites. It's such a weird sponge, but I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Before going in with powder, I'm just going to wipe off my lips a little bit. Kind of get the foundation off. And then I'm going to apply a lip mask or lip balm um, because we are doing a bold red lip. And I want my lips to be nice and prepped as well. So for this, I'm just going to use this Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Mask. I've really been enjoying this one. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, which is my personal preference. Lips are nice and nourished. So for powder, I'm going to use my Hourglass veil translucent setting powder the reason i'm reaching for this one is this one ha definitely has more of a glowy finish to it but it's going to set my face down so it's going to set all the products down 
but it's gonna give my skin a little bit of extra glow. All right, so for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Shantikai Real Bronze in the shade Serena. I just like this one because it's got a nice natural sheen to it. It's not shimmery or anything, but it has a little bit of a glow to it. And I just, I just love this bronzer. I love the undertone. It's like a true brown. Really, really pretty. And it's very festive packaging too. That doesn't hurt. And with the complexion products, like the bronzer, blush, and all that, I like to go pretty light because um, I want it to be a little bit more on the natural side. Um, so I don't like to do like harsh contouring or just like a ton of bronzer. I really like to keep the skin relatively on the kind of lighter, more natural side. So actually, I'm going to go over with my powder brush just to make sure that everything's really soft and blended. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my Refer 32, one of my favorite brushes for doing a little nose definition. And I also like to take this under my lip as well. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of my bronzer. So as I'm bringing it up the nose, I'm also going to take it through my crease. The eyes are going to be super minimal today. So I'm just going to add a little bit of definition with my bronzer, just kind of following the natural curve. So for blush and highlight, I thought I would use this. I have not used this in a hot minute. I tried to use this up. This has been like, I feel like the never ending project pan product and I cannot get this thing to die. This is the Kosas uh, Color and Light Cream in Tropic Equinox. You can see I, I really, really love this. I don't know what kind of sorcery is in this product that makes it never ending. It's like the never ending gobstopper of makeup. But we're going to use this today. I'm going to go in with the highlighter. I'm going to pick some up with my finger, kind of warm it up on the back of my hand, and then just tap it on the skin. And if you are naturally more oily, or you're feeling like the products that you've already applied are just giving you enough glow, you can definitely skip highlighter. Pretty, very light, very subtle. Um, and I like this one because there's no chunky shimmer or glitter, like it's very, very natural. And then I'm gonna go in with the blush. I chose this blush because it's more of like a warm, kind of almost a little bronzy. I could totally use this as a bronzer, honestly. Um, but with a red lip, I don't like my blush, for my blush to compete with my lip. So I like to go for these kind of more dusty bronzy shades for the cheeks. So again, I'm just gonna warm that up on my hand and then just tap that on the cheek area, kind of blending it into my bronzer. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose just to bring in that kind of like healthy flush to the face, having color in multiple areas on your face. Um, I feel like it just looks a little more natural. I'm also gonna take a little bit up on my forehead. All right, so I actually did not do my brows before doing this makeup look. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera because it's really boring. It's my same two products, the NYX Brow Pen and the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I'm gonna do my brows and then we'll come back and work on the eyes, which is gonna be super, super easy and quick. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, brows are on. And one other thing I wanted to add, well, two other things I wanna to add to the skin. First being some faux freckles. I just feel like this really makes it look like your skin. Definitely brings in a more natural element to the makeup look. You do not have to do this if you're not into freckles. Just a little bit, not too much. And then one more thing for the skin before we move on to the eyes. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. This is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> it's got makeup all over it, but I'm just gonna spray my face down with this a little bit to kind of mesh in all the powders, the creams, everything we have on the face. This will give the skin a lot more glow as well. This is a very, very glowy setting spray. So if you're oily, this is probably not a good idea. But you can, of course, use any kind of facial mist, setting spray, whatever works best for your skin. You can kind of see it just gives the skin this like juiciness. I don't know. This is really nice. I know it's quite expensive, but I actually had this bottle for a really long time. And I mean, I can't see how much I've used, but it feels like I maybe have like a third left. So it's lasted me a while. 
So for the eyes, you can do multiple things. You can just leave your eyes bare. You can do a full-on eyeshadow look if you want to. Like, it's totally up to you, whatever your preference is. For me, when I do a red lip, I really like to keep the eyes very simple. And when I mean simple, I mean basically naked. Because I just love, I love the statement being on the lips and just having everything else just be very minimal. This is the uh, Lid Luster from Victoria Beckham. This is one of her new shades. And this is the shade Chiffon. So I thought we would use this today. I thought we'd just do a little light dusting of this. This one has um, more base pigment to it as well. So I think I'm just going to do a very light kind of tapping on the lids just to give that kind of glossy effect on the eyes, um, but not with any color. So I'm just going to take it. I don't have anything on my lids. No concealer, powder, foundation, nothing. They're naked. It's kind of just how I like it. And then I'm just going to very lightly tap this all over my eyelid, my crease, all the way up to my brow bone because I want my eyes to look, like I said, just like that sweaty, kind of oily, wet look. Like if y'all have oily eyelids out there, you've already got this, this look covered. You probably don't even need to apply anything. Just let your natural oils do all the work. And that's all we're doing on the eyes. Super simple. I am, of course, going to do mascara. Um, you can do false lashes, too, if that's your forte, but I am not the greatest at applying false lashes. And it's just more work. And honestly, when I'm going to be getting ready for Christmas or a Christmas party or whatever, like, I don't got a lot of time. So, and I'm usually getting ready with my kids in the same room, so just doesn't work out for me. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes a lot. I decided to go with my Beauty Pie Uber Volume Boost. It's just gonna give me a ton of volume. Figured I'd take a break from my Lawless Mascara, which is I feel like the one I use all the time. Um, this one's actually very similar to the Lawless one. So I'm just gonna load them up. All right, so now for the fun part. So I'm gonna take a little cloth, remove my lip balm. I'm also gonna kind of exfoliate my lips a little bit, kind of remove any loose, dead skin. Oh, that sounds so gross. But you know how sometimes when you put on a lip balm or a lip mask, it kind of like loosens any kind of dead skin that you have? So I don't want any of that sitting on my lips when I put my red lip on. Hmm. Lips are feeling very moisturized. I actually really like this, this Flower Beauty Lip Mask. That's really nice. So I have several reds that I'm kind of trying, I'm trying to figure out what red I want to do. So my two reds that I use all the time are the Milk Makeup Name Drop Lipstick. This is gorgeous. It's more of a warm red, which is what I tend to gravitate towards. I like those kind of like orangey, warmer reds. And then the Saint Cosmetics Los, An uh, Los Angeles, Las Vegas um, lipstick as well. So these are the two reds that I typically reach for. They're matte, which I like, but they're also very comfortable. So I feel like this is like what I'm drawn to, but at the same time, I kind of want to use something different. I also have two from Bite Beauty. This is their Power Move Soft Matte Formula. I have the shade Hot Tomato, which I think I have used before on my channel. Um, you can tell this is definitely more of like a blue red, um, more like a true red, even though it's called Hot Tomato. I don't know, it looks very like, it has a little bit more of a blue undertone to it. And then this shade, which I've never used before, is Tannin. This is so pretty. This is more of a berry red. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I might use this today. And this formula is really nice. It's very comfortable on the lips. Um, so if you're wearing it for a long time, it doesn't feel crusty or dry. And then I also have this La Rouge um, lip palette. And I was kind of thinking about this one. These are not as matte. These are definitely more of like a balmy texture. Um, but that's that one. This one's more of like a very bright, kind of like cherry red. Um, but I was kind of thinking about that. So I just, I think I'm going to go for tannin. 
from Bite. Just because that's such an interesting shade. It definitely, it kind of is in, maybe got like a foot in the door of like a berry, but it's still red. So maybe we'll do tannin. Also, if you're wanting to do a red lip, but you don't want to commit to a red lip, like you don't want to do the full red lip, um, a lip stain is a really great option. My favorite is the Ella Luz Lip and Cheek Stain. I literally cannot leave my house without this, whether it's on my cheeks, on my eyes, on my lips. Like, I wear this all the time, even when I'm not wearing makeup. Like, this is that red lip that I would wear to the grocery store, carpool, like, whatever. This is that red lip. It's like the perfect, just throw on, dab a little on your cheeks, and it just makes you look so healthy and just oh so you can really build it up and um get that intense red color or you can just use it as a stain and it's a very nice kind of natural red so if you're not wanting to fully dive into the red lip this is a great option i love this um and this honestly if i were to be wearing a red lip to a party i would probably do something like this because this is something you can eat you can drink and it's not going to move around on your lips it stays on your lips it does not move it's Kind of different. I don't typically reach for these kinds of reds, but this just looks so pretty. Yeah, this red. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Do we see this? <gasps> mm, it definitely leans more on the berry side. All right. So I am gonna be going in with a lip liner because I cannot get a clean edge with just a lipstick. Um, plus, a lip liner just kind of makes it last longer. Um, kind of keeps everything locked in place. So I have two red lip liners. These are the only two red lip pencils that I own, I think. Um, I don't have a lot of red lip pencils, but I have one by uh, Fit Glow. I really like this one. This is just in the shade red. Um, and then I also have this one from Bodyography called Crimson. They're very similar. Bodyography has a little bit more like a cherryness to it, whereas the Fit Glow one is like a more like a true red. All right, I think I'm gonna do the Fit Glow one. This one's a little more creamier more creamy too, so it's easier to apply. Yeah, this lip pencil is so good. That is so gorgeous. I feel like on camera, it looks brighter. In person, this is like a true kind of wine red, if that makes sense. Like a little bit of like a Cabernet, kind of Pinot Noir. Um, yeah. And I feel like on camera, it's kind of translating more like a bright red. Have y'all seen that TikTok video where they take, I don't know if they take the lip liner or the lipstick, but whatever, they take some like red lipstick, they do this and they draw on their lips and then when they unfold their lips, it's like this perfect like overlined lip. Have y'all seen that video? I've always wanted to try that, which I, I don't know why I'm like scared to. I just need to do it one day before I'm about to wash my face or something and just try it. But I've always wanted to try it because every time like I see them do it, it just looks so good. Their lips look so big and fluffy and full. Alright guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. I just love a good classic red lip. This is such a pretty red lip. Of course, there are so many different reds out there, so have fun. Play with different shades of red, um, but I typically don't reach for this shade of red, and I actually really, really like this. Such a great look for Christmas, which is coming up very, very soon. I'm so excited. I, of course, think a red lip is great for all year round, so I'm loving my dewy, fresh, glowy skin, my bright red lip. Like I just feel like I can take on the world right now. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Definitely check out Matter of Fact skincare products. I will of course include my discount code in the description box. They do have travel sizes. So if you're not ready to fully commit, definitely check out the travel sizes. They have a bunch of holiday bundles with the travel sizes. So you can try out their products and it's a lot more affordable. Um, but I'm absolutely obsessed. This is just what I've been using on my skin and I can see such a big difference. Yeah, just super happy about that. So thank you so much for being here. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are worth